What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Kristen and today's video is going to be all about meal planning tips and tricks. I have a lot of them, uh, but I've managed to narrow it down to 10 of them for you. So today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 meal planning tips and tricks with you. So yeah, let's just get right into it. My first tip is to pick a day of the week to plan and prep your meals for the rest of the week and stick to it. This is huge. This is super important. Just making sure that you are deciding on something and then sticking with it and doing it. If you make all these plans to do it and you're deciding this is, you know, I'm going to make this and this and on this day and then you don't go get the groceries and you don't stick to it and you go do something else or go out to eat then that's not going to be helpful. So really it's like a mindset thing and just making sure that you are setting goals and sticking to them. A lot of people think of it as like self-discipline. I like to use the term sacred discipline. Uh, so I like kind of hold it more valuable and I find out when I plan things like this and then I actually stick to them, I realize that I really start trusting myself more. So planning a day to go grocery shopping and doing your prep is really, really important and just make sure that you're sticking to it. And a lot of that can be, you know, really working on your mind mindset. So my second tip is to pick a couple of meals to prep for the week and then don't worry about anything else, especially if you're super, super busy. So, you know, if you need breakfast and lunch planned for the week, then just pick a meal for each and make those. And at least you'll have a breakfast and a lunch. So maybe make overnight oats for the week and then maybe make like a giant salad for the week and a dressing to bring. And then at least you have a couple of options and you're not, you know, stuck with, with nothing. So if you're super busy and you can't do any more than that, then just pick at least two meals. Or if you don't need to practice, prep breakfast but you need to prep lunch and dinner then pick two meals to make and then they can kind of be interchangeable that way too so that's really helpful especially if you're really pressed on time tip number three is to make enough so that you have a good amount of leftovers for the week this seems kind of obvious but even sometimes I forget to do that I'll make like rice and beans for a burrito bowl and I'm like I should have just made a big batch of that and then I would have had it for the week so try to remember to make bigger batches so you have enough to last you throughout the week and even sometimes making more than you think you need can be helpful sometimes for when you're just needing snacks or if you have a friend over randomly for lunch and she wants to eat some of whatever you're eating so uh, I like to make big batches especially when I'm planning and prepping for the week it can be really really helpful the fourth tip is to make a large batch of some sort of grain so I eat a high carb low fat uh, plant-based diet or vegan diet and I like to have a big batch of some sort of grain like brown rice or quinoa, which is actually a seed, amaranth, millet. Uh, there's lots of different grains out there. So whatever grain you enjoy most, make a big batch of that. I usually do brown rice and just having a big batch of that, you know, that can be a base for so many things. You can make a breakfast porridge out of brown rice. You can make a burrito bowl for lunch and then you can have like a curry over the brown rice for dinner. Having like a bulk grain, prepped for the week can be super helpful, especially when you're pressed for time later. And then tip number five is make a large batch of some sort of legume or some sort of bean. I usually do black beans. That's what I like to have. Then I have, you know, it's perfect for burrito bowls. Uh, but if you like pinto beans or white beans or chickpeas or lentils, prep some sort of legume that you like to have. And then there you go. It's really easy again to make like a bowl out of your brown rice and your legume and throw some veggies and some sort of sauce on or some salsa easy meal and they're nice and filling and hearty. So have some sort of legume on hand and that, that can really ease in your prep and really need something kind of quick to eat. So having a legume and a grain prepped and ready to go for the week, even just those two things can be really, really, really helpful and can save you time for sure. Tip number six is to chop some fresh veggies and store it in the fridge for snacking. A lot of times we don't prep our veggies and then we don't eat them. Uh, so if you got carrots and celery for snacking and cucumbers, you know, for dipping in a homemade hummus you're going to make or some hummus you got at the store, then it's really important to prep the veggies and have them ready to go in your fridge. So chop up the, chop up the celery, you know, wash your veggies, chop them up, put them in Ziploc bags or Tupperware, or however you want to store them the least amount of plastic the better uh, and then they're just ready to go and you're more likely to reach for that if it's prepped than some sort of other snack like vegan chocolate chips sitting in the cupboard 
<laughs> I usually would, you know, if there's prepped veggies, it's so much easier to grab those and snack on them. So highly recommend doing that. Tip number seven is to make at least one or two sauces or dressings to go on your bowls or salads. So what I usually do again is I have burrito bowls and so I like to have guacamole and salsa and that's what I usually just do for the dressing for those as I mash up some avocado or cut up an avocado, put it on there, pour some salsa on, sprinkle it with some nutritional yeast, boom, delicious dressing for a burrito bowl, really healthy, really easy. And then I also like to have another kind of dressing or something like that on hand for salads or bowls or whatever. Something that I really like is a like a lemon garlic tahini dressing, uh, super, super good. You can make a cashew ranch, you can make a sunflower seed Caesar, there's lots of options, but having some sort of uh, dressing or sauce, at, at least one, two is best, ready to go, it can be really helpful when you're making your meals later in the week. All right, and tip number eight, that's a seven. Tip number eight is to, I can't remember. Tip number eight is to clean and prep all of your produce uh, when you get home from the grocery store so that you actually use it later in the week. So again, whether you're snacking on it, whether you're gonna be using it for salads or you know whatever you're gonna be using your stuff for, prep as much as you can on the day that you're doing prep so that it's just easier to use later in the week and then you're more likely to use it. You're gonna eat it, you're gonna save money in the long run because you're not gonna go out to eat when you want a snack or something, you're gonna have it there, you're gonna have your produce ready to go, your healthy stuff, uh, which can be you know just so, just it, it just helps you eat healthier. So do that. So tip number nine is to make like little smoothie packs or whatever you want to call them and put them in the freezer. So you can, if you want seven of them, if you know you're gonna have seven smoothies for the week, you can make seven little smoothie packs and put them again in a little Tupperware or in a Ziploc bag or in a jar, just as long as you don't have liquid in there. And then, uh, just put whatever you want in your smoothie. So frozen bananas, frozen berries, you can do, you know, spirulina, you can do spinach and kale and nuts and seeds and all that stuff and just put it in your little freezer bag without the liquid. That'll come later. Just put it in a little bag or your container and then put it in the freezer and you can make them all different. You can make them all the same. You can do whatever. You can do my like chocolate peanut butter banana smoothie. You can do a fruity smoothie, whatever you want to do. And then in the morning, you just dump that into the blender, add in your water or your non-dairy milk or whatever you're using for your liquid, blend it up, boom, smoothie, easy to go. It's really quick, it's really simple, and it's really, really healthy. And tip number 10 is don't overwhelm yourself. Even just a little bit of prep is better than none. So like I said, even if you're just prepping like a grain and a legume and that's it for the week, that can be so helpful. It can really save you time later and save you money. So just do a little bit, even if it's just putting away your groceries properly and prepping your produce, even if that's all you have time for, that is something. But don't get overwhelmed. This isn't like perfection townville, USA. This is just do what you can, make this work for you. I just feel like having a little bit of meal prep done is just a huge time saver. You're already in the kitchen. You're already getting stuff dirty. You can just wash everything at the end. And then it just feels better throughout the week. So I love getting meal prep done. I work from home, so I don't do a lot of meal prep, uh, but even just having a few things on hand, like some overnight oat jars and some beans and legumes and then some veggies prepped, it just is so helpful. And I find that I just wanna eat at home instead of going out and getting food. So it saves me a lot of money and it makes me eat healthier. So I love it. <laughs> meal prep for the win. And then a bonus tip for you is to make even bigger batches and freeze them. So not just batches for the week, but like bigger batches. And then you can freeze rice, you can freeze beans, you can freeze curry that you've made. There's lots of stuff you can freeze. So think of that as well. If you really wanna do a lot of meal prep, then you can do that, you can freeze it, and then it can be really easy to heat up and eat later when you want. Soup is another one, really good one to freeze. So there's lots of options there. So if you wanna do like spend a whole day doing meal prep for like you know, a long time, you can do that and keep it in the freezer and then pop it out when you're ready to eat them. And then bonus tip number two, just because I love you guys and I have lots of tips, is to keep a grocery list on the fridge and then when you start to run out of things or you completely run out of things, you can just write it down on the grocery list. And then when you go to the grocery store, you already have like a 
pretty good list of what you need so you don't have to like go through and look everything do I need this do I need that you know so that can be really helpful we do that for sure so when we just get low on something like oh we're getting low on brown rice just write it up there or laundry detergent or whatever it is and then you just have it ready to go uh, and you can just add a few things to it before you go to the grocery store and that has saved me so much time because I used to just dig through things I'll try to remember the things we needed and stuff like that so uh, do that as you run out and it can be really really helpful and save you time uh, when you go to the grocery store or plan to go to the grocery store too so yeah those are my top 10 meal planning tips and tricks to kind of save you time save you money make it so that you're eating a little bit healthier if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and I will just see you guys in my next video peace out so my second tip is to <sighs> monkey might have just flashed the camera